Hi, I'm Joe Small. This is a close look at one of the wildflowers in our study area. Our featured plant is one of a very limited number of species that thrive or possibly simply survive in an impoverished soil immediately adjacent to the saltwater shoreline. Let's get started. From the Journal of Accessible Sciences and our Bird Park 2020 series, we examine Siline latifolia, more commonly known as white campium. In this Google Earth view of our study area, our region of interest today is the artificially colored band between the sandy shore and the green colored intermediate zone. The soil in the sand berm zone is mostly beach sand with a small amount of detritus worked in. Nevertheless, a dozen or more species compete for space within this unique zone. Our featured white campion grows here. With its curiously large seed pod seemingly developing before the flowers begin to bloom. A pink variety too. With an abundance of flowers which other than color look very similar. According to Wikipedia, occasional plants with pink flowers are usually hybrids with red campion, Silene diocea. When we look more closely, there are subtle differences. The white species petals have more rounded contour, while the hybrid pink petals have less aggressive shape. Curiously, the two individual plants we've been discussing were the only campion we found in the area. They were growing within a meter of one another in this rather large area. When they finish blossoming, it is no longer possible to differentiate between the two. Our study area, public property, is adjacent to private residences. It is possible our campion was a recent escapee, as opposed to having occurred naturally. But either way, domestic wanderers or exotic visitors, we have a bit more to say about them. Let's see what we can learn by looking more closely at the prominent seed pods as they change from emerging flowers to seed development. One by one they dry, harden, and open at one end. Pulling away the parchment-like outer covering, the hard seed pod is revealed. While being entertained by the smallest of inchworms, we can see a cluster of brown things that may be unfertilized, undeveloped seeds. Not surprising, as there were no male plants around to fertilize them. Hopefully, we will now be able to recognize white campion when we see it. I intend to be on site early next spring to see if they have survived the winter. Thanks for watching.